Hello everyone, this is Sarah and welcome to my crochet channel. Now a couple weeks ago I released the simple or easy holiday Christmas ornament that can be used as a coaster or an applique or whatever you want to use it for. Just a nice small Christmas ornament. Well, I had a lot of requests to make it bigger so it could be used as a washcloth. And I already had the pattern in the making and today it's ready to go. Now you can make this in an acrylic yarn like this one, or you can make it in cotton like these. If you're going to use this for a washcloth and just keep it one thick, you can make that out of cotton and it works just fine as a washcloth or just a simple hot pad pot or pot holder. You can also do two thicknesses like this one. I have put two of the circles together and then did the stitching around to form the ornament look. And I can still put warm things on here because, but because it's made out of acrylic yarn, don't put anything that's really hot that comes right out of the oven. Now this new pattern is on my blog and you can find that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. So this pattern, like I said earlier, can be used as a washcloth or a pot holder or a hot pad. Now we're going to be making one that looks like this today. We're going to do two thicknesses and stitch them together. Whether you do one or two thicknesses, the edging is done exactly the same. Now this measures about eight inches across and it's about nine inches long if you count the topper for the ornament. I'm going to be using three different colors of yarn today. I'm going to use a blue that's sparkly, a white that's sparkly, and then a silver that is sparkly. The blue is Red Heart Shimmer. The white is I Love This Yarn Metallic from Hobby Lobby. And the silver is the Karen Party. So you can see I'm using three different yarns, but they're all three worsted weight, number four acrylic yarns. And like I said previously, you can use cotton as well. It's really just your preference and what you're going to do with these. I'm going to be hanging these out front in my entryway as well as on my big pine trees in the front of my yard. I think it'd be lots of fun to have those hanging up there as decorations for the holidays. We're going to be stitching today with our H hook and our H hook is a 5.00 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle for weaving in ends and also for stitching on these stars. And then of course you'll need your scissors. I'm going to be starting with the white sparkle yarn for the center of my ornament. Make a slip knot and chain five. We're going to join this chain five into a circle. So we'll put the tail of our yarn over our hook and pull it through and then snug that down. We'll make a little stay knot. And now we have a five chain loop. Put your hook through, pull up a loop and chain three. The chain three counts is our first double crochet. And now we're going to double crochet nine more double crochets. So we have a total of 10. Yarn over, go in the chain five loop and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over and go through the second two. That's a double crochet. So now I have three, I've got my chain three and I stitch two. So I'm going to stitch till I have 10 double crochets in this five chain loop. Now you'll notice that I'm stitching over the tail of my yarn as I'm going through the chain five loop. And what that's going to do is it's going to help me 
close up that hole in the center of my ornament because we don't want a hole in there. And I'll show you how to do that in just a few seconds. All right, so let's count. Here's our chain three. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I need to do one more. I'm going to join to the top of the chain three with a slip stitch. So I'll go through, pull up a loop, and then pull that loop through the loop on my hook. And I'm going to go ahead and chain three. Now, I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to gently pull on that tail of yarn that we stitched over and it's going to close up that hole in the center. And then when we're done, we can come back through another little snug pull and weave that in. But now we know that the hole in the center of our ornament is closed. And that's how you do row one. For row two, we're going to place a double crochet in the same stitch as our chain three. And then we're going to stitch two double crochets in each of the double crochets around. So our first row we had 10. So our row two is going to have 20 double crochets. two double crochets in each of the 10 double crochets around will give us 20 double crochets for row two. I stitched my 20 double crochets and now I'm going to join to the top of the chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. Now for row three, we're going to be doing the same thing we did in row two. We're just going to have more stitches. We're going to double crochet in the same stitch as our chain three. And then again, we're going to place two double crochets in each of the double crochets around. And so since we have 20 double crochets on row two, we'll have 40 double crochets for row three. And if you did the small ornament that I showed you earlier, it's stitched the exact same way for the first three rows. Just a little FYI. <laughs> So just to repeat, I'm stitching two double crochets in each of the double crochets around. And at the end of this row, I'll have 40 double crochets. And I'm also going to show you how to change colors at the end of this row, because I'm doing three rows of white and then three rows of the sparkly blue. But you can do yours any way you want to and change colors as often as you like. So I've stitched those 40 double crochets. I'm going to join to the top of my chain three with a slip stitch again, but I'm not going to chain three because we're going to change colors. I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn and I'm done with the white anyway. So I'm just going to bring in my blue because I'm going to do three rows of the blue. So I've got my yarn over my hook and I'm just gonna pull it through that loop, snug everything down and chain three. So let's stitch row four. We're going to place a double crochet in the same stitch like we did on the previous rows. And then we're going to stitch a double crochet in the next two. So there's one and two. All right. Now we're going to stitch two double crochets in the next 
double crochet. And so what we're doing is stitching two double crochets, one in each of the next two, and then two double crochets together. Whoops, had a little split there. So there's my two individual double crochets. And now I'm going to stitch two double crochets together. And we'll work this row all the way around, stitching it that way. One double crochet in the next two double crochets, and then two double crochets together. Whoops, there we go. One and two and two together. And we'll work it all the way back around till we reach the chain three and then we'll join to the top of our chain three. I've completed row four, stitching two individual double crochets and then two together, repeat all the way around. I'm going to join to the top of my chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. Now, if I was changing colors again, I would make sure that my color change was before the chain three. Because if you waited until after the chain three, you'd have one stitch, that's the wrong color. All right, now for row five, we're again going to place one stitch in the same stitch as our chain three. And then we're going to stitch three individual double crochets instead of two like we did on the previous row. So one, two, and three. Then we'll stitch the two double crochets together. There we go. And so that's how the repeat will work for row five. One, two, three individual double crochets and then two double crochets together. And repeat. One, two, three, and then two together. One and two. So that's what we'll do. We'll just repeat all the way around again till we reach to that chain three and join to the top of our chain three. We'll stitch one, two, three individual double crochets and then two double crochets together and repeat all the way around. So we have one more round to do in our double crochets. Round six, I've already joined. I'm going to chain three. We're going to stitch right in that same stitch as our chain three. And then instead of doing three individuals, we're going to do four. There's three, four, and then two double crochets together. All 
righty. And by increasing like we did on each row, it makes a nice flat circle. All right, so the repeat is four individual double crochets, one in each of the next four. There's my two together and then there's my four and then two together. So we're doing four and two. One, two, three, and four. And then we'll do two together in the same stitch. And that's how the repeat works for row six. After we finish row six, we'll join to the top of our chain three and we'll tie off. So I'm going to complete row six, stitching four double crochets, one in each of the next four double crochets, and then two double crochets together and repeat that working all the way around and then I'll join to the top of that chain three like we've been doing for every row. I've completed the sixth row. I joined to my chain three and I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn. Now before we do the trim, I want to do the star that we make in the center. And you can see I've got another one here that I've already made the star in the center because I'm going to be making this one double thick and I did them the opposite colors. All right, so we're going to take our needle and we're going to thread a nice long piece, about 18 inches of yarn that we want to do our star in. Now I'm doing mine in the opposite. You can do silver or other colors. It doesn't matter what color the star in the center is. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our star only uses up the first two rows. And what we're going to do first is we're going to make an X. So I'm going to go up in that stitch from behind. I'm going to leave some tail back there for weaving in later. And we're going to go straight down and make sure that you go in a stitch, not in a hole in between, because you don't want that uh, stitch to get pulled to the back. Okay, so there's one. All right, I'm going to turn it a little bit over and then I'm going to make, oop, got caught in my scissors. There we go. And I'm going to do the same thing and just try to center an X on my dishcloth or hot pad. All right, so there's an X. Now my hook got caught. And now I'm just going to make a plus sign. So I'm going to come up in between the first two and do the same thing. Make sure I go through a stitch and then I'm going to come up over here and just cross that across. All right, and then what I do is I come back to the center and I just make a couple of stitches going around all those just so that it can be held in place. I make sure I try to grab all the stitches, make a cut, just, you know, just one or two, just so that's not going to come undone. Just make sure when you're weaving in that you don't let your stitches go all the way through so that you have odd blue stitches showing through that you don't want to show. All right, now we need to take a few minutes and weave these ends in, but before we do that, I'm going to show you how to add the trim and the topper. Now, if you're just using one layer for a washcloth or hot pad, if you want to, just one layer, then you'd go ahead and join in your silver or whatever yarn you're using for your trim and your topper. But since I'm doing these two together, 
I'm going to take the other one that I made and turn it upside down. And then I'm going to go ahead and line up the edges of the hot pad together. All right. I'm going to grab my silver yarn. I'm going to go ahead and bring that silver yarn in on that loop. I'm going to go ahead and tuck in all those strings inside. And if you're only doing one thickness, you'll just go through the thickness of the one and stitch a single crochet in each stitch around. But since I'm doing a double thickness, I'm going to go through both the front and the back and stitch a single crochet in each stitch around. And a single crochet is you go through the loops of the stitches, you pull a loop through, yarn over, and go through both. Now I do recommend as you're stitching that you stitch a little bit loose. Don't pull your stitches too tightly because you don't want your hot pad to pucker up. You want it to lay nice and flat. All right. And whether you're doing one thickness or two, you'll stitch this row exactly the same. If you're doing two thicknesses, go through both the front and the back. And if you're just doing the one, you'll just go through the one thickness. So whether you're doing one or two thicknesses, we're stitching one single crochet in each of the double crochets around. And we'll do this all the way around and then we'll join back to our first single crochet. And then I'll show you how to make that little topper that turns these circles into such a cute ornament. I stitched that row of single crochet all the way around, stitching my two thicknesses together. Now, if you're just doing one thickness, you'll look just the same. One single crochet in each stitch all the way around and then join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. And now we're gonna make the topper that makes this look like an ornament. So we're gonna chain one and we're gonna place a single crochet right in that same stitch. And then we're gonna stitch seven more so that we have eight single crochets. All right, let me make sure I have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we're gonna chain one and turn. Our chain one does not count as a stitch, so we're gonna go right in that first single crochet and stitch a single crochet, and then stitch one in each of the stitches across. Alrighty, there's my eighth, chain one, and return, I mean, take two. Chain one and turn, and then we'll repeat. One single crochet in each of the eight single crochets across. There we go. Sometimes those me metallic threads get a little bit in the way and don't want to cooperate. There we go. Alrighty. Chain one and turn. Alright, so now we're only going to place a single crochet in the first four. So one, two, three, and four. 
then we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's going to be the loop for our ornament. So we'll go right back to the next single crochet and stitch a single crochet. And then we'll stitch in those last three. All right, so there is the topper with the little hanger. We'll go ahead and cut our yarn, tie that off, and then we need, just need to weave in that end. I'm going to take it down the side going through some stitches and some fibers of the yarn and work it into, since the topper doesn't really have a front and a back, I'm going to try to work it in to these stitches that are down here. There we go. And clip. And now we're all done. Here's our topper. And here's our ornament on the front and then on the back. So here are the two that I made with double thicknesses. And then here are two that I made that are made out of cotton that are just a single thickness. So it's kind of up to you and how you want to make them. You can see that I didn't do them all the same. Striping them with different layers using variegated solids, cottons. It's up to you how you want to make your Christmas ornament washcloths, hot pads, or pot holders. Thank you.